Anna Whiteley has had a lot of golfing advice from some of the best coaches and players in the world, and hopefully these tips have helped your game as well as hers. Wow! Today she's back with Ali Whitaker, who's got some handy pointers on how to chip from an uphill lie. We're down here in the practice area at Centurion Club, just outside of London, for more short game tips with former pro Ali Whitaker. Ali, I have so enjoyed our chipping and driving tips and bunker tips so far. Good. I know there is plenty more to come. There's um, so many more. <laughs> I know, and honestly, <laughs> some of the stuff that you've told us so far has transformed my short game. And so I brought you down here because I could do with some help on uphill lies. I imagine normally you would probably pick up a lob wedge and plant this onto the green, but that can be quite a tricky shot sometimes. Yeah, and one of the things that I see a lot of, especially in amateur golf, is people not necessarily understanding like they're waiting with their feet, particularly on shots like these. A lot of people come in, they have a lot of weight on the left-hand side, but I actually think they say to, you know, in theory to go with the slope. Yeah. One of the best drills I ever learned was this one, mm -hmm. and it really transformed my chipping. So Ooh, <laughs> I know it's because I, I had a tendency to be quite steep myself and come in and kind of dig into these uphill lies. Right. And that's just it's so unpredictable because often the ball comes out low and spinning, which isn't really the kind of shot that you want. Yeah. And then everything changed. It was like an epiphany. And then I, like I realized. The sound of this. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. So. I came into the ball and realized that I could actually almost play this ball, <laughs> this shot with my left foot on my toe. Okay. Sounds okay. silly. This is an extreme version, but what it did was it meant that I couldn't go on my left side and deal off the club uh -huh. because I would fall over. And yeah. nobody wants to fall over while they're hitting a golf shot. No. So I, I literally come into it like this. All of my weight's on my right-hand side, obviously, because this is doing nothing. And what it does is it keeps the loft open on the golf club. So, so what club do you have there, sorry? Normally I would pick up like a lob wedge. Yeah. I'm going to make a point and hit this with my pitching wedge. Okay, right. Because I won't, like you'd look at it and you'd be like pitching wedge, bump and run club. Yeah. But, yeah. here's another option. Okay. In theory. So ball probably just inside your right toe. That toe on the ground, which is great for me because I'm a size 11, so it's a long way in the air. <laughs> but then it's just, Ah, look at that. And I kind of hooked that one a little bit, but still. Yeah, I mean, I just hit a pitching a wedge outcome. lob shot in a way. Because as you say, on this kind of lie, the odds of, of bottoming out too early is very likely, or thinning it. So actually getting that connection, it can be really hard. Yeah, well, I think just, just understanding how much weight. So if you're on, alternatively, if you're on a downhill lie, yeah. you could do it with your right foot yeah. on its toe and just experiment with how much you want to put on your right and left foot. And I think it really has quite a close relationship with the loft of the club. It's just something almost conceptual that helps you just open up your options around the green in yeah. particular. Okay, Ali, All we're right. gonna have a go. It's your time to shine. <laughs> so, uphill lie. Nice little uphill lie and we're going... Now you can, you can exaggerate it by putting your left toe down or you can just kind of have that, I'm gonna do that, that. concept if you want. It depends if you feel balanced enough. So it's you just really, a drill. So you really want all your weight on that back foot? If you have all of the weight on the back foot, then you, in theory, to a certain degree, t can't de-loft the club. Yeah, okay. It'll help you keep the loft open through the ball. Yeah. Ah! You beat me! That's a nice chip. I'm going to leave soon if you're going to keep doing that. <laughs> so that just <laughs> ensures that you're coming through at the right angle and you're not gonna top it, you're not gonna, it wipes out a lot of the stuff that can go wrong. Well, it means that you're coming into the ball quite neutrally. And yeah. that's, that's the number one goal with chipping is to have a neutral chipping action because as soon as you start fiddling with where the club is, that's usually where the trouble comes yeah. in, so. And on a downhill lie, you want all the weight on your front foot. Yeah, well, it's, it's a relationship. So really? you don't yeah. literally have to have your toe down for these. Like I'm yeah. not suggesting that people go and start playing on one leg. <laughs> But I think, especially on practice areas, just understanding the relationship between where your weight is on your right and left side and the loft of the club. You just hit a pitching wedge yeah. on that shot to that distance. It's impressive. You know, it's just something to get your head around. Ali Whitaker, another top tip. Thank you so much. If you find yourself on an uphill lie around the green, take on this little tip because it works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you too.